Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Springtime is upon us, and it's that time of year again. Going to be uh, getting a couple of tractors out. Uh, today, I think just this one, 7045. I love all the bird poop all over it, huh? Damn things. Anyhow, I'm getting the plow out this year. Uh, well, getting the plow out this year. Obviously, I'm getting the plow out this year. Jesus. I'm getting the plow out today. Uh, I got a couple of things to trim on the shin. Um, none of these tractors have been run since they were put here. This one hasn't. So hopefully, hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed. It's going to fire up. Um, I do have my battery pack in case I need it. It's in there. And we will see what happens here. I'm going to crawl up in there. Bring it back when I start turning it over. Okay, let's see what happens here. Hey, I got power. That's a good sign. I can't remember how the foot pedal clutch works in this one. All right, here we go. Um, it might, it might start here. Oh yeah. That a girl. Boy, how long has it been since I parked out here in uh, end of November? Six and a half months or so. I'll take it. Uh, one thing I did do before I, I, I got recording here is I checked all the fluids everywhere just because it's been sitting and uh, everything was full. Like what that what is that like guys? A tractor that doesn't leak anything? Especially after six months? What? This is new to me. <laughs> this is very new to me. <laughs> so we're gonna let her warm up a little bit and uh, go around back get hooked up to my plow. Talk about that a little bit and I'll show you what I'm up to there. Look at that little mouse. You little bastard. Oh, I got him. Okay. Mouse is dead. I was just getting ready to say that I didn't smell any mice in here and then I see one running across the floor. Huh. I bet he came from the engine compartment. All that noise he come running up through there, I bet you. In here, I don't see any traces that mice have been living in here, actually. They're actually pretty darn good in here. To tell you the truth, I don't see any mouse poop. Well, the Grandpa Gus's didn't do their trick, so. Moving on. Just wanted to point out, that start is off of that battery right there. One battery. Um, you know, back in the 70s, they put two in there, but the technology has gotten to the point that if you get yourself a good battery, you got about the same cranking amps. Uh, well, maybe not quite the cranking amps, but um, you, you've got the power pool, if that means, if that makes any sense. You turn it over a little bit longer. So we run one good battery, like $170 for that battery, but absolutely worth it. Uh, I got to get back into the swing of things here. I was already almost hooked up to this. And I forgot um, on these I got to put the drop bar in in order to uh, you know otherwise it hits the, the framing over here and um, yeah so I, I got this one hooked up and I had to go back down to the house because I don't have any tools in here yet get a 9 16 and push my draw bar in so we're back up here I'm almost hooked up um, we'll get it up out of here and we'll talk a little bit about what we're doing with it all right, we're jumping around a little bit in this video. I forgot to get video of what I was trying to do to that plow. Um, I just needed to cut about that much off of the edge of my shins that I made last year. We're getting a little bit of an overcut there. It wasn't le leaving me a clean furrow to ride in like it should. So um, they were busy over there with the plasma torch. So I just dropped it off. We'll go pick it up probably tomorrow. Now I'll get some footage of what that looks like. Uh, here I'm working on my disc. I thought I was going to have to torch these bolts off, but 
I got them to be about a million degrees with my torch here and the impact took them right off. This is what we're fixing here. What's left of that bearing? I noticed that was out um, last fall and two bearings on the outside were good and I just ran it. So it doesn't look like we did any more damage than what was done when the bearing blew out of there. So uh, now that I got these off, I'll let that cool down a little bit and take these all off one by one. I'll probably uh, get a block under it here. Don't touch it, it's very hot, honey. Uh, get a block under it here so I can just pull everything out. So, fun times, fun times. I'm back up here. Need that tractor back there. Uh, that's the one that's going to be on the plow this spring. Um, so, when I go over to the machine shop, pick it up, I just want to pick it up with the tractor and I can leave it on there. Um, I have to fire both of these up real quick. Fingers crossed that they start. I'll get you some footage of them turning over, see how it works out. I've got my jumper box in case. Um, that one over there, if I had to pick one, would be the one that's not going to start. This one here, um, it's got a good battery in it, I think it'll start. So, get up in there, let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Cold 301 fire right up boys. Okay, so like I said before, the battery on this one is pretty old and getting kind of weak. This wasn't a new battery that we put in this one. It was a used battery when we when I overhauled it. Um, I don't know. If, if it doesn't turn over here, I'll probably just run to Farm Fleet and buy a new battery for it and get it over with. It needs to happen. Uh, wait a minute. Did that get switched? I don't know, we'll see. I can't remember now. Oh, lights are on. Okay. Guess I'm full of crap. That sure is a different battery that was in there. I wonder if my brother had to move this over the winter. I wonder where he got that battery from. I'll have to, I'll have to ask if that's one of his batteries or not. The one that we had was not a yellow label. It was a white label. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a yellow label uh, industrial fire fleet. It's a good battery. Uh, and this had a regular, just a big regular battery in it. So I'll have to ask what he did with it. But anyway. All of them started up. Look at that. How lucky am I? You notice we got two different sized tires on here. I got, a, I got the rim over there. I got to go get swapped. back with the plow as you can see from how shined up it is I actually plowed about 10 acres yesterday uh, got back kind of late so it was a late start but um, yeah, everything worked good everything was going great tractor is running excellent uh, all I'm happy with it uh, 
don't know, it seems to be pulling a little bit easier than it did last year, I guess. Uh, also, I got it on a bigger tractor than I had last year. I had it on the 7045, so uh, a few more ponies under the hood of this one, I guess. Um, however, what I did do, why well, I stopped early, broke two bolts there. Um, the top two were just regular threaded rod, and these bottom ones are grade eights, uh, which is what I got here as well. Put those in, so. Um, yeah, I just got to put them in. And then uh, the air conditioning didn't work yesterday when I needed it. That was that was awesome. So I am going to put a can in it. Um, yeah, they were on sale at Farm and Fleet. Anybody in the area, uh, they're on sale at Farm and Fleet right now for $15, which is a steal. Uh, if you plan on needing any of those. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put one in and see what's going on. Um, I didn't mess with it at all. I don't know. It might be just leak out, but for 15 bucks, if it works long enough for me to get this plowed, um, and then it's, it has stop leak, or, uh, it has the neon stuff in it. So, um, I should be able to, once I get done plowing here, I'll be able to get take top off I'll be able to figure out where it's leaking if it's not leaking out of here um, this is an old hose um, so the the molecules in this stuff the R134 I think that's what it is yeah the R134A the molecules are smaller than the old stuff that you used to get for these so it will leak out of the hose um, however, I read that the dye molecules are bigger and they will not leak out of the hose. So if it is seeping out of the hose, um, I'm not going to have any dye anywhere when I go and look at stuff. It's a dead giveaway. Um, so anyway, I, I guess that, that, that about settles this video. Um, I got everything ready for spring field work. <laughs> Uh, my manure spreader, they're working on it right now, so I'll have that back, but uh, nothing early. I'll just have to add some beaters to it. Got new bearing in the disc there, and I got every one of them adjusted. They, just a couple of them that were out of whack a little bit. I didn't adjust last year, which I, I don't go disking when it's muddy, and I don't have like wet spots, so it's not a big deal, but I figured I'd do it anyhow. Uh, the the bearing holder there I was able to go to the hardware store and get which was surprising um, but the holes they just weren't quite lined up they were just a little bit tighter and I had to drop one size bolt and what I did I just I got grade eights and put in there so um, it's a size smaller but they're tougher bolts now so hopefully um, well not hopefully I'm sure it'll be fine let's put it that way uh, other than that, this disc is ready to go. If you guys remember, I put all new hoses and new cylinder on it last year. Um, my jack here quit working, so I do have a jack. Um, and I don't know. Should be a simple, simple thing here. If I got that right, it should clip on there, but I don't know. It might not. I might have to weld it on. Either way, whatever. It is what it is. Got a decent jack on it, new tires and everything, so I'm good to go, good to go. So we're going to get to plowing today, keep an eye out for that video. That is all but running at this point, um, it just needs gas, uh, propane, and it'll be good to go. We got spark and everything, there's no reason that that will not run. Um, so I guess this is where we'll leave this one, leave it at that thank everybody for watching I sure do appreciate it uh, it's been kind of slow this winter on videos but springtime is here and farming is coming uh, I don't have I don't have Bob around to help this year so I don't know we'll be going to some pulls but it's not gonna be as many as last year let's put it that way so uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching and sticking around continue to support the channel if you like this episode give it a thumbs up 
and uh, look forward to plowing and then uh, have an announcement for plow day coming up here soon too. Thanks for watching guys.